honestly, this um, this venue that we're in tonight um, was was uh, brought into the family by Sherry's grand grandfather, Tom White, back in the 1950s, and uh, he saw a vision for this property that is probably finally coming around and and becoming a place that uh, we can celebrate things like this wedding today. best friend in the world, and I can't put into words how much you mean to me. I vow to love you, cherish you, and honor you. I promise to always put our love and respect for each other above all else. I promise to always care and provide for you in every way I can. I love you with my whole heart, and I'm so grateful to be marrying you today. I promise to listen intently, even when I'm being stubborn, and to always do my best to put my words into action. I promise to always push you to be the best version of yourself that you can be, and to always follow your heart. I cannot wait to build our lives together, raise a family, be here forever with you, and I promise to always be honest, faithful, and loving to you for the rest of our life. I promise to always think in what is of your best interest and to always be loyal and true. We promise to always laugh at your jokes and to always root for the warriors. But more importantly, I vow to always be your biggest fan. I will love you forever and always. Yours truly, Morgan. So lucky to be marrying someone as smart, beautiful, compassionate, and loving as you. And I just want to say thank you for being you, and I love you so much. I saw the two of them today during the vows, and I saw the way Kent was looking at Morgan. And I just got the biggest smile on my face, and I know that my son truly, truly loves his wife.
I was waiting for the moment to arrive Waiting for the moment to arrive I was waiting for you And I wouldn't miss it for the world